Election Observation Group Yaga Africa has raised an alarm over the increased activities of cult groups, thugs and the proliferation of arms by key political stakeholders in Edo State ahead of the governorship elections. The group in Abuja during the presentation of its first pre-election observation report says there is a need to act swiftly to forestall violence during the polls. The group also identified possible hot spots in the state and called on security agencies to forestall any outbreak of violence, saying armed groups belonging to several notable politicians have already clashed publicly. The group called on INEC to ensure there are adequate sanctions on those that infringe on the nation's electoral laws using violence to disrupt the polls. The spate of pre-election violence is escalating. The two dominant parties in the governorship race are guilty of violent rhetoric, hate speech, vandalism and violence. At a PDP rally in Akmana community in Esako West local government area, clashes between PDP and APC supporters led to violent attacks and vandalism. At least one incident of sexual, uh, sexual gender-based violence was recorded in Onyongo, Oridu, Ipubaoka, Esako Central, Onwa West, Esan West, and Ovia Northeast local government areas. The state is also witnessing a surge in cult groups activities, especially in Ipubaoka, Oredo, Onyongo, and Onwa West LGAs. This is mainly attributable to an entrenched subculture of violence built around well-known strong men, thugs, touts, gangsters, and cultists on the one hand, and the widespread belief that elections can be won or smooth governance guaranteed without strong arm, strong arm tactics and the support of powerful thugs. We anticipate, and everyone should, that political actors are going to use violence to either undermine or dilute or neutralize votes from the strongholds of either opposition um, or their yeah, many opposition. And so INEC in applying its own guidelines needs to be consistent. So it boosts you know, the confidence of stakeholders in the elections because that confidence is very, very important for peace, is very, very important for stability in the state.